What the heck is wrong with people? Learn to park. Look, there is way too much to unpack with that question. Just know that surprisingly enough, the majority of us are good and normal and don't get this mad at a bad parking job. I have never once in my life seen a parking job that was so bad that it made me want to actually commit a crime. You know, vandalism of someone else's property, right? <laughs> never once. Sure, I thought they were assholes, but that's a little different. Attorney near me found a camera in the Carter County Jail attorney room? Wait, what? Huh. Fantastic. Just really cool and neat, I guess. I don't know why the MK producers have not only given me a lot of mildly infuriatings, but now I've moved on to extremely infuriating. Oh man, this is gonna get funky, I'm sure. This order of mine that took years to be shipped. What? All right, payment accepted in 2015. Holy crap. Seven years later, it's with Caitlin. Now it's another month. Raven, few days, Tina, uh, two months, can't read that, okay, Th then it says shipped? What the hell was it going through 40 different people before shipping for, and oh my god, okay, erasers that never erased anything, oh yeah, I would put these as mildly, personally, I was expecting something wilder here, but dude, what was the point of those? I, I thought there was like a trick to them. I don't really remember because I don't care, but still. Dentist said, don't worry, pay it back when you can for an invoice, since I couldn't afford their services. Now I have to pay 50% more because somehow I can magically afford what I couldn't before? Wait, what? Let's see here. Okay. Oh, neat. That's really cool. Thanks, predatory practices. Imagine driving down the road at 12 a.m. and seeing this. Yeah, at that point, wherever you're going, don't turn around. Don't get out of the car. Don't stop. Some mofo is watching, and they are waiting, okay? Don't think that they're not nearby, because they are. You see that, you catch it, turn the hell around and go back the way you came and choose an alternate route, not even kidding. One missing piece is always annoying. Why is it always one? Uh, literally, it's always one, and it's always, I don't know, in one of the most important parts of the puzzle. Let's say, the lighthouse? Uh, come on. I'm currently trying to get some followers on Twitter as an artist, and the only ones who are following me are OnlyFans bots. Block every single one as they come in. Trust me, ju just do that. Your life will be easier. But don't worry. Keep on keeping on, my friend. It's not like this forever, even though Twitter is garbage. It'll, you'll, you'll get there, trust me. This cover charge that was billed on every item ordered and was not listed on the menu, website, or entrance. Let's see. Yeah, no, I would not be paying that. You don't get to hit me with surprise bills. That's not how this works. You take the 15 bucks off, we'll have a great time. No problem whatsoever. You don't get to do that. Got scammed out of my gaming PC. Wait, what? Basically what it says is I was selling my PC online to a buyer who was posing as a father buying something for his kid in college. He sent a supposed payment that had to wait on verification that the item had indeed shipped for the payment to go through, which it never did. Now the guy's trying to get me to send him 650 bucks via gift cards to probably not even get my PC back. Currently a very sad gamer with an extremely expensive lesson learned. And yes, I've contacted the police with the serial code and reported to Microsoft that my device was stolen for any extra chance. TLDR, got screwed out of $1,500 by the Nigerian Prince of Facebook Marketplace. Oh yeah, number one rule of Facebook Marketplace. Cash or go f*** <laughs> yourself. That is it. That is absolutely it. Someone literally parked their car like this. I mean, yeah, they literally did. But even this parking job does not make me mad enough to want to deface their vehicle because I'm not a psycho, right? We can agree on that, right? Okay, good. Clicking on part-time job on Google and having it still show you full-time positions. I love that. I, that button doesn't do jack. It doesn't do jack, my friend. Yay. Groceries double the national average for inflation and you don't even get what you pay for. Oh shoot, yeah, let's see here. 200 grams, nope, uh-uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting kind of sick of companies being legally allowed to scam you. This is false advertising, they are lying, and I know that there's bound to be variants and things like the weight of bags of chips, but dude, come on. I've got a sneaky suspicion that if we tested like a thousand of these bags weight-wise, very few are above the 200 gram. You know what? None of them will be above the 200 gram limit, come on. They're all gonna be below. Boost Mobile gamified my phone bill? Gamified? Let's see, earn free wireless? 
Spin the wheel to earn free boost coin daily. Spin seven days in a row to earn 75. Engage with short videos tailored to your interests. Okay, wait a minute. This, so you can just watch ads to lower your phone bill? Look, I hate ads. I despise them. But if I could get my phone bill down to zero by watching like 20 minutes of stupid, I don't even have to watch it. Just let them play out, and then I'm saving 70 bucks a month? You bet your ass I'm gonna let that happen, okay? I'm not giving the capitalists more ideas for how to exploit us and ruin our lives, but hey man, I gotta get something out of this, right? It may as well be a lowered phone bill. I guess this is a thing on Reddit. When you post a pic of yourself? Let's see, would love to get to know you better, and sorry to say, but you're damn hot, dude. Wanna share some nudes? No thanks? Hmm, what size is yours? Dude, get the hell out of here with that crap. I mean, yeah, you share a picture of yourself with a bunch of strangers on a website like Reddit, you're gonna get some weirdness. You just gotta know that that's gonna happen. DK Oldies selling a used Pokemon Emerald GBA for almost $300. Price was 30 when the game first came out. Oh yeah, do not buy from DK Oldies. They are a scam company. They are scamming you. And look at this, it says condition used. Look, $280? As a collect, I collect retro games. I collect a lot of them, man. And I pay top dollar to make sure that what I got is high quality and in pristine condition. You know how much I paid for my Chibi Robo? I don't even want to say, okay? If this was complete in box and that's how it was, cool. I wouldn't mind spending hundreds of dollars on a complete in box or sealed copy of this game, right? But it's not. You're gonna get a piece of garbage that's scuffed up, and they're gonna lie about how it is. It says used, but it's more than just used, dude. Also, I doubt those reviews are real. I monitor my kids' social media. However, TikTok wants me to create content in order to watch my kids' videos? Uh-uh. No, dude. I paid full freaking price for your game, EA. Sign in or renew subscription. Sign in with the profile used to buy this game. Make sure your subscription to Xbox Live Gold or EA Play, okay? This just sounds like your Xbox Live subscription ended, which wouldn't be EA's fault. You would still have to have Xbox, right? I mean, well, wait a minute, I see. You bought the game on the marketplace, but it, okay, no, 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 it's annoying as hell, this is lame. I ordered a Push 2 from Amazon Warehouse, and this is what I got. A Push 2? Wait, I'm not sure what a Push 2 is, but what you got clearly doesn't seem like what you wanted. <laughs> What in the world? A telecom professional did this to my basement. What the hell? I could have done that. They're supposed to run that crap through the walls where they can. Also, I love that. A telecom professional. Uh-huh. The freaking cuts on these rafters. Oh my god. Are these McMansions? They, they don't look like mansions, but are we just now to like McHouses? They're just building crap for the sake of building crap, hoping that a corporation will buy it up so that they can make some money back on this? Yikes, dude. Yikes. Dad used a bunch of rare 50p and other valuable coins to buy cigarettes. How nice of him. Ordered inflatable hot tub from Amazon. Received scam gift card instead. They refuse to refund until card is returned. Um, uh-uh. Amazon, you take liability for this crap. What the hell? Like, what is this? Somebuy.com gift card. Uh-uh, dude. I haven't had a semester where one of my classes wasn't canceled last minute. This time, it's literally the day the semester begins. I have to re-register and screw me if I scheduled my entire life around not having a class on Wednesday. All. This semester, SE management is taught, for the most part, asynchronous online. This means class lectures are provided online. However, there is a weekly meeting time scheduled for this class for students to review the weekly topics. Unfortunately, due to a last-minute change of the instructor, instructor? Instructor of record for SE management, the time for the weekly meetings must also change. The new meeting time is Wednesday from 6 to 7.15. Reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. D yeah, we got concerns. Finally, if you check your course shell for the class, you may not find any materials. Awesome. They get millions of dollars a year and they can't organize jack? Minimum age of criminal responsibility is lower for girls than for boys in Iran. Huh, why is that? And of course they weren't charged. This happened to one of the guys that my friend group hung out with. He was more of an acquaintance to me, but a lot of my friends were friends with him. We were all 17 to 18 years old. The guy was born with a heart defect, so we had a weak heart. These three girls lied to the police about him sexually assaulting them, and he goes to jail, then has a heart attack in jail from the stress. And after the girls felt so bad about causing it, they finally tell the truth. 
He lived, got out of jail, and had another heart attack a couple of years later where he died in the car while his grandmother was driving him to the hospital. It was devastating to my friend group, and when we were at the funeral, one of the girls showed up. She actually had the balls to speak at the podium when people were offered to come up and say some kind words about him. Everyone lost their minds, but stayed respectful as not to cause a scene. It was horrible. He would likely have lived a lot longer if he didn't have that first heart attack so young. And they just get to keep on living their lives as though they did nothing at all. Yay for them. Gear selector switch from my combine costs two hundred and seventy-six dollars. Yay! <laughs> Anti-consumer practices all the way, because there's no way in hell this thing costs two hundred and fifty-six dollars to make. No, it does not. There is no way. Someone in my school Discord server made a bit that pings everyone with MLP. Oh my God. <laughs> What in the world? Oh, okay. Yep, that sure is the same damn thing over and over and over again. 150-year-old piece of American history. Couldn't you have shipped it better? Our f Oh my god, yeah, why do people do this? I'll never understand. A cardboard box is infinitely better and really not much more expensive than the alternative, you know? Oh my god. And I don't care if th this probably was in one. That's not my main point. My main point is, holy crap. Remember, I used to work at a UPS. I worked at several UPS stores, man. We pack and ship crap there. Or UPS. Different company. Doesn't matter. UPS would not pay out any insurance claims unless we made sure that the item had at least three inches on every single side, not touching the box. It had to be free floating and bubble wrap and packing material in there. Otherwise, no insurance. I'm paying for 5G unlimited data. Is this even legal for a provider to do this? I can't play online games, I can't download anything, and social media says I'm offline. I barely got onto Reddit. Took around an hour and a half to post this. Eighth attempt. Hmm, you've got a really weak signal there. Is this just where you live? Like, is this your home, or is this your entire experience no matter where you are? Ticketmaster scammed thousands of fans. Sold out stadium concert is empty. I do think that the ticket industry, Ticketmaster and whatever the rest, like AXS or Access or whatever you want to call it, I do think that they should be disbanded completely. I don't know why they're allowed to exist anymore. They are literally just a scam. It's pathetic. Someone on r slash handwriting uh, ignorantly doxed one of their clients? Okay, cool. Very nice, thank you. Selling our son's birthday presents. Is this on Amazon? We're selling all the toys our nine-year-old just received for his birthday three weeks ago. He's been acting out lately and saying that he doesn't believe in our religion and wants to be a scientist. We're fine with him wanting to learn, but he should learn about God. We can't tolerate him question- every something about this is weird. Something about this is real weird. You won't believe what just happened to me. <laughs> Try me. We have cats. A mom and her babies. The mom was feral. Now she lives with us and loves us. We've had them for eight months now. No issue. We live in an apartment. This apartment isn't properly made, lots of cheap materials. Well, one of our living room vents easily open up. When you look down into it, it's an abyss. It goes into and under the apartment complex. I got up to get a snack in the middle of the night, which I never do, and saw it was open. The cats have opened it before, but never jumped in. So we started putting heavy objects on it, uh, but must have moved tonight? Weird. And I think to make sure they all are here, which I don't ever do, again, because usually they're all visible. Searched up and down and couldn't find her. Then realized she must have fell and been searching the bottom of the apartment for hours. It's 3 a.m. and we set up a trap down there. I'm so nervous, excuse any typing mistakes, I'm so scared, this is beyond irritating. My boyfriend and I have never seen an event like this. What if it was someone's kid? I'm trying to apply for a credit card to start earning credit. No credit report found, huh? Maybe that's kind of the f***ing <clears throat> idea! What in the world? Does your local credit union or something like that not have a card that is specifically designed and meant for people like, you know, that don't have a credit report yet? Also, can we abolish the credit score? Holy crap, the boomers invented it to just press down on the necks of any minority. Okay, this is ridiculous. Oh, and it ended up screwing over everyone, which is awesome. I spent a total of $14.48, six gallons exactly, at this gas station. Because I'm in a hurry to get home, I used tap. Why the hell? You spent 120 si nope. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I have never experienced this, thank God. Screw you all the way to Satan's butthole, Costco stickers. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Dude, I will never understand it. Used store, independent mom and pop shop, doesn't matter. Everyone puts stickers directly on crap. Hell, I've got a place called Entertain Mart here in town, where I live, and... Love them to death, they've got some great options, but I'm so <clears throat> sick and tired of them 
at random, taking their pricing stickers, putting it on the movie, and then shrink wrapping the movie again, even though it's used and is missing a bunch of crap. Found out my catalytic converter was stolen last night. Yay! I'll never... I, I don't get the catalytic converter thing. There's got to be an easier way to make some money, right? Than getting underneath the car and chopping it off. This boss steals tips. Sounds illegal, right? We actually don't get our tips. Our boss takes it from us. Hand it to our... In, in, just hand to hand, I see what you're saying. So we can keep them. Yeah, how is it not illegal for a boss to steal your money? Oh, wait. That's just how the United States is. <laughs> yeah, well, not just the United States. There are some... Uh, yeah, okay, I get it. I, w I will admit. Sure, I'm sure there are some others out there that do it just as bad. But... It's where I live, so what are you gonna do, right? We don't care that you were saving a child from being kidnapped. You're fired! What? Employee saves child from kidnapper. Instead of promotion, gets this letter saying he's fired. This is blank. He recently stopped a child from getting kidnapped while he was at work. Findings. You were employed by the Home Depot until June 9th, 20, 19th, 2017, excuse me, when you were fired because you assisted the police in preventing a kidnapping. This was not a willful or wantonly negligent violation of the standards of behavior an employer has... Wait, what? I'm super confused here. Can you imagine having the balls to write this down and give it to the employee that you're firing? Can you imagine writing that out going, you assisted the police in preventing a child from being kidnapped. Get the hell out of here. I would frame this. I would keep this forever as a reminder that the suits are some of the stupidest people on earth. And I do mean every executive at every multi-billion dollar company that has ever existed. To be fair, every customer at this theater is either six-year-old, brain damaged, or both. Bro. <laughs> the what? No, they did that on purpose. They, you have to do that on purpose. There's no oopsies. Imagine receiving this. Congratulations, you've won the Humbug Award. Oh, nope, I've seen this one before, and I don't need to get pissed off at it again, okay? All of this food is still edible. There's no discoloration, no damage to packages. Yes, we have to throw it out because the company claims it's expired. I think the best part about this is that when they throw it away, they still claim ownership of it. See, now I'm of the belief that it should be illegal for any corporation any of the, there are a lot of different chains out there, Safeway, Albertsons, Kroger, whatever, but they're all owned by like two companies now. Um, wh why is it legal for them to throw away so much food? We waste, what is it, like 30% of our food at, le at least? It just gets thrown away. How is it legal? I do not understand. And how can a store continue to claim ownership over something they threw away in the dumpster? If it's in the dumpster, you do not own it anymore. You are willingly giving it to a third party to destroy. I don't understand this sh**. <laughs> My bathroom tiles. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm looking at. Well, no tips for today. Why no tip? Oh, here we frickin' go. Tipping reinforces income inequality. Tipping is inconsistent and arbitrary. Tipping can lead to discriminatory behavior. Tipping puts pressure on workers to provide exceptional service. Are you ready for the revolution? I'm guessing this is for anti-work, which is funny because anti-work would have a heyday with this piece of trash. They, I don't think anybody over there would be psyched to see this at all. Look, the workers who work off of tips are not the bad guy here. You're not helping them by doing this. There are ways I'm sure that we can, but it's not saying, uh, 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 we're all gonna stop tipping, so then all of you become homeless overnight. Fantastic. Kaspersky antivirus disabling everything except for reports, settings, details, and more tools. That's really great. Antivirus software is itself a horrible virus, and it messes with you. Don't, don't download it. Don't do it. Please don't. It's a waste of your time and money. On screen keyboard is unavailable without a current license. Die. $130 a week for a wallpaper app. Upcoming charges. Free trial, cancel the channel, live wallpaper, screen 4D. Yep, they're just hoping that you don't pay attention so they can at least get one big charge out of you, right? Because Apple is not going to give you that money back. So if it clears, hey, they got something from you, man. Yes, because everyone wants to watch on a low resolution with a contrasting border that never leaves. Yeah. Is that actually just how they play out? Are you serious? Is that not part of like a bumper? Really? Wow, I, I'm, I'm out for the day, guys. Love you. See you soon.